Hello world, I'm Gokarp, welcome to Silent Storm, which is going to be our new series here on the channel. Now if you haven't heard about Silent Storm before, which you probably haven't, like it's a 19 year old game, and even though I believe this to be the best game in the world, I've noticed that not a lot of people have heard of this. So this is a tactical team based combat game, and as usual, it's usually just better to get going with the game instead of just uh, trying to explain about it. So we're going to start a campaign here and we're gonna play as the Axis. There's gonna be a very simple reason that 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 I will get to later on and when we're just uh, click next we're gonna play on impossible difficulty of course because I play this game a lot <laughs> quite a lot so we're we're gonna be playing on the difficult that difficulty. So we're gonna make a custom character we could pick any of these pre-made characters, but we're gonna make a custom character and uh, we're gonna make it female, we're gonna make it German, her, German, and we're gonna be an engineer. Our nickname is going to be, can I actually fit Uncle Carp here? No, so we're just gonna be Carp and our name is going to be Auntie Carp. Like this, the, the game has a little bit of like RPG mechanics, if you wanna call, you know, stats and attributes and skills as our RPG mechanics and leveling. Well, let's get leveling as well. Uh, so normally, uh, well, if you look at what I'm doing here, I'm changing these values. You can see that the skill values here change a bit. Normally, when we were playing, if we were playing as an engineer, I uh, would actually want our intelligence to be quite high. But for a particular meta game reason that I will get to as well later on, uh, I am actually going to put our intelligent only as a three. And I am going to put our strength and uh, dexterity up. You can see that dexterity affects our action points. Uh, strength doesn't affect... Well, it affects melee throwing burst there and also our vitality points. Uh, so we're going to put dexterity up to 10 to get the maximum action points. Because action points are always good. And then we're going to put strength as high as we can. Uh, the main effect of strength is actually how far you can throw things. Uh, but that's going to be something that we don't really care about that much. Uh, we could change uh, the outfit we wear and there are mods for this game where you can have more uh, outfits available because basically now we can only use the Axis outfits. Uh, this is the Medic, this is the Scout, this is a Sniper, this is a Soldier, this is a Grenadier and these are civilian clothes. So we're just gonna with go with the basic Engineer clothes. And then we go next, and we're gonna go and build ourselves a custom head. Because this game has a thing that I really, really love, and it's this thing. There is just a slider for gender. Like, that's it. <laughs> or, or, I mean, that's more than it. That's more, because usually you just have, like, you know, male, female, male, female. No, here it's a slider. Uh, we're gonna go somewhere like there. Then nationality, also a slider. Uh, we're gonna stay somewhere on this side. Age, slider, let's, let's be pretty young, and uh, brows are also on a slider here, let's have brows like that, we got the no slider here, like, uh, having a slider for these kind of things, so basically, like, you can see, it's, if we just click here, it's just basically, I think, going to just change it, I don't see it changing at all, no, it actually does change, oh, it actually changes a lot, a lot less than I was thinking with just uh, clicking this uh, because if I go here for hair, for instance, and we can put... No, it doesn't even work like that here, either. Wow. Because I was pretty sure... Okay, maybe women's hair? Does it work the way I think it uh, did? Because there is... It... No, it doesn't even work the way I thought here, either. Well, uh, that's... let's let that be our nose. Let's get our cheeks in a bit. Let's get lips to be something that look nice. Uh... Those are rather okay looking lips and a chin. Let's look how big of a chin we can get. Or mm, that looks like a big chin. And yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we could have men's hair here, or we can have women's hair, which that's, you know, one of the things that could be just like a same slider. Why not? We can have eye color changes here. Uh, let's just be, I don't know brown-ish. And we can have facial hair on our female character as well if we want to. I don't think we want to, but we are gonna add some face damage here. Uh, let's get some scarring in there and let's get some glasses in as well. And then we can choose the voice. Uh, I'm, uh, one thing about this game is that the voice acting is quite silly. Confirmed. But I think that they kind of did that on purpose, like, because there are lines for 
every character in the game. Because so we're gonna be building a team. Like, this is the tutorial mission. After this tutorial mission, where someone is robbing a bank here, uh, we're gonna be building ourselves a team, and all the team members have their own lines, and they all have lines in their own language. So my guess is that they realized that they weren't going to be able to get all the languages correctly, so they just decided to go with way over-the-top kind of silly voice acting. Like, that's my guess. I'm not sure. I, I've never, like, seen any any kind of actual information about this game anywhere, because it just seems that people see don't Did really see know it? this game at all. I have seen a lot. What are you talking about? The bank! They shot and killed the girl! Then broke into the bank! Yeah, you can see, like, it's, it's quite silly. When? It just happened now! How many men? Uh, four. Um... Maybe more. Get out of here. Notify the authorities. Tell them they will need to collect some bodies. There they are! And it's not like the lines are silly, it's just the uh, the way they are said. Like the, the the performance of the voice actors is quite silly. So, we are playing a classical. Oh, I'm not gonna go through this, uh, we're gonna get a lot of these tutorial things, they are mostly not important, I'm gonna kill, kill. Well, basically that tells us that in, well, every mission we have an objective, we can see our objective here, neutralize robbers, and we also have line of sight, uh, so you can see, we see these two guys, they are red here, they have this symbol that they are enemies, and they are all red, so we can see them. If we turn around, we can't see them anymore! But we can know where they were, so we can we get this uh, this red outline, and we get this ear thing here. But yeah, this, so this is a turn-based, team-based tactical it combat game. So basically, like XCOM, if you know XCOM, which I would assume most ga pe gamer people in this world know by now. Uh, but this is just just so much better. <laughs> okay, okay, that might be the wrong word to say. Better, uh, it's. I enjoy this a lot more. So, uh, we have a weapon here. This is a submachine gun, MP38. It does a certain amount of damage, it has a range, it has clip size, it's just ammo. It has firing modes here. We can either do a short burst or we can do a long burst. Uh, we can move in different ways. Uh, I'm not gonna change now because we started with walking and I changed it to running because I know the, the, the hotkeys to everything in this game and I will probably forget to tell you things that I'm doing with the hotkeys occasionally so I'll I'll try to be good with that but yeah and then uh, when we're here close by to an enemy or we don't have to be close by if we're just targeting an enemy and we use the numpad keys we can target particular spots on the enemy so we're gonna just target his head here we're gonna use full burst that means full burst you means it uses all of our action points uh, the short burst would use 20 action points, we got 23 left, so we're basically getting like one more shot uh, with 62% chance to the hit. In the tutorial, uh, this is going to kill for sure. Okay, and yeah, but now it's explained to us about attack modes and loot from the body, because, well, as you can see, stuff fell from that corpse. If we press the Alt button here, we can see what it dropped. It's, that's a pretty useless gun and some ammo to that pretty useless gun. And then we're out of action points, so we're just gonna end the turn, which we could do with the Enter key, but I'm just gonna press with the mouse button for now. So, it's the enemy's turn now, and then the enemy is trying to shoot us. I think... Oh, wow! They actually hit us! I was just saying, I don't think they can actually hit us in the tutorial, but I think they have like a 2% fixed chance. Oh, if you're thinking, why would I know that it's a 2% fixed chance? Well, because I have activated the console in this game. Oh! He actually... No, I think that's our shot there. Oh, no, he has a 10% chance to hit. I think that's where it's... Yeah, but it's, it's a very low chance to hit. So, but yeah, uh, this is basically cheating looking here. But I played this game so much that I, I don't really consider it cheating anymore. But yeah, we're just gonna unload uh, this guy here now. Hit you. And he's dead. Okay, for next turn. And as we see, no enemies at this point. We actually went away from the turn-based mode. So what we're gonna do here is I'm going to pr press this hide button here. We're going to go to stealth mode. 
Then I am going to use this and I am going to go... What is this word? I'm gonna crouch. Yeah, I'm gonna crouch. I could go prone as well, but no, we're just gonna stay crouched because uh, while we crouch we can actually move a bit faster. Uh, I'm gonna reload my weapon since we're not using any action points for that right now. And then I'm going to move a bit closer because I know there's a guy over here and there's a guy over it there. Be easy he, quick. Can't, he can't see us right now. So we're just gonna move here and yeah, there's the guy. It that will I be easy so now quick. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna run. Oh, he just turned away. And then I'm gonna press enter to start combat. A bit of a like a technique that you probably wouldn't uh, as a starter. Well, a beginner wouldn't know this technique. Okay, so now we can also see that we leveled up. Now, leveling up in this game is... Well, it's a kind of a mixed bag, basically. Well, it's, it's good, it's good, but there is a thing that... The game has an idea that is good, but the way it's functioning in this game is not actually that good. And that is... Uh, skills increase with use. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, end this turn and I will show you. I will open up my uh, character sheet here and I will go to uh, burst, uh, short burst mode. Actually, I can... Just, okay, look at, look at this blue thing here. You can just maybe barely see the blue thing there behind the hide skill. If I go and I hide... Okay, it increased a little bit. Once it hits all the way here, our hiding skill will increase by one. Now, yeah, that sounds r okay and everything. Yeah, basically it is okay and everything. But the problem is that certain skills, like for instance engineering, are really, really hard to use. Like you don't use them that often. So you don't really gain much of that skill. And that means that you don't really gain, like, you can't even use some of the higher level items that you're gonna get in, you know, like, in the end game. And that is a problem. But there is a solution to that problem, and that solution is the console. Which is why I have, you know, this, the console isn't normally on. I think I'm gonna make a little video showing how to turn on the console in the game as well. Because it requires uh, editing a couple of files. Uh, so, what we can do here uh, is we can write set XP level two because we went to level two here and if you look at the skills here so this is what my skills are now and I would have to use every skill ten times to make it increase one to increase it by one now if we go to set XP level two this is what the game would expect my skill levels to be at this point like if I had just because this is what I used to do with this game I used to train my guys after every mission like I would just take my guys uh, put them in a row and just shoot, okay? And it, that would increase my shooting skill a bit. And then I'd do that over and over and over again until I actually had maxed out all of the skills that could be maxed out. But for engineering, it was particularly difficult, because it's particularly difficult to use engineering in this game. But with all of the other skills, it's, it's, it's doable. I've spent hours upon hours of my life doing that, so I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. And that is the reason why we put intelligence on three, because that is going to be the lowest intelligence on any of the characters we are going to take with us. And intelligence affects how uh, quickly you get experience. So I don't want to kind of uh, level the guys we have with us faster than they would normally. So I have put my intelligence to be as low as it is on any character we are going to take with us. Okay, now that done, we can actually go for our uh, skill tree here. Uh, in many games, you see a skill tree, you'd go for the, like, the lowest level things and try to pick, like, see, well, how am I gonna get to this, uh, very good skill over here? Which, uh, actually, we're never gonna be using any of these skills probably in this or, or that skill either. Do we use this skill? No, we're gonna use this skill. Okay, this skill, uh, we're gonna want to get. But in this game, a lot of the important skills are, like, somewhere in the middle of the tree. Like, here is a very important skill, faster snapshot. So that just means that if we have... A weapon that can do snapshots, which uh, this can't do because this is a, a submachine gun. But if we had a rifle, rifles can do snapshots. Faster snapshots, very good. And that is actually what we're going to go for first. So we're going to take uh, pistol specialization. Pretty much completely use the skill. We're probably going to pick up a pistol. Well, actually, we are going to pick up a pistol for sure because this guy has a silenced Nagant, which is a unique, unique weapon. You can only get it 
from this tutorial and nowhere else. So if you don't pick it up with you when you leave the tutorial, you're never gonna get this weapon. You want that weapon, so uh, if you ever play this game, uh, be aware of that. But yeah, we now need to kill this last guy, so let's just uh, get closer to him, because like he's not a threat at all. Okay, oh, switching floors, yes. Because of course this game has several floors. You can just switch floors and all of the environment in the game is destructible. Like, all of it. Everything, we could, we could, well, we probably don't have enough explosives, but if I were to use the console commands to just generate explosives, we could, like, make this whole house here just disappear completely. But yeah, let's go Confirm. for next turn. He's probably not gonna do anything. Oh, it actually... Huh, that's strange. I didn't expect it to go to, like, the uh, real-time mode, but it did. Well, let's go back into hiding. Let's run here, and as soon as we get visible, I we're just gonna press... Sight. Oh, yes, you are. We're gonna press Enter key, and it's gonna go back to our turn, and then we're gonna aim him in the head, and we are going to shoot him. Has been and, yes, he is dead. Now, this is telling us about carrying bodies, because uh, to finish this chore, we're gonna have to carry this body to the car. Uh, but that's fine, we're just gonna do that a little bit later, because first what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up everything that's a grenade. I know which are grenades. Beretta is a grenade, Z23 is a grenade. Uh, that's because we just wanna take all the grenades with us from every single mission. That's also a thing that this game really, really needed, but doesn't have, is a, like end mission looting screen. Like, there is a, a sequel to this game called Silent Storm Sentinels. And that has that aspect. Also, in that game, they fix the way uh, your skills grow, so that if your your skill cap is way beyond your current skill level, just using your uh, skill once will increase your skill level, uh, which is very good. Yeah, we're gonna take all of this stuff as well, some uh, hemostatic powder and adhesive surgical plaster. This isn't that important, but I just never like to leave anything behind here. Uh, Confirmed. And it's it's a good thing to have extra stuff at the beginning. Now, let's uh, finish this mission by picking up this guy and carrying him to the car. That's not gonna take uh, very long. Right, carry him here. Would you please thank you? And that's the end of that. Achtung, Achtung, an Elektrop! Base Commander Oberst Ernst Schubert has given me the pleasure of welcoming a new arrival to our base. Ja, Oberst Schubert. As squad leader of Abwehr Section 2, our guest will have access to all resources. Mission personnel are to make themselves available. Supplies are to be ready. Medical personnel are to treat any wounded as if it was their mother. This is a direct order from Oberst Schubert. Ja. Have good war. Have a good war. Yeah. So here we are in our base. There's absolutely no one else in this base. We are here alone. If we were playing with the allies, we would ha they actually have some people in their base, but in the Axis base, there are absolutely no NPCs. That's just... We are just here. Here to do our job. Achtung, Achtung! As stated previously, all base personnel are available and prepared for any mission. Their files may be reviewed at the personnel office next to the hall too. Ja, Oberst. I have been requested to specify that these files may be found in the top drawer of the only file cabinet in the office. Have a good war. Yes, we're gonna have a good war. So yeah, uh, this is the personal office where we can actually... Ooh, do the recent number of abductions, the snazziness attempts on our scientists, personal security procedures must be updated and increased for all searches. As a result, General Bauer, the head of military research, has been relocated to the local intelligence headquarters. That's actually our first mission there. I didn't really expect to get that here. I, I think we usually should get that when we actually leave this. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Now, if we look at the... Well, if we click any of these doors, we're not going to be taken to the... Uh, okay. Yeah, well, this is the character hiring screen. We have here uh, some people. And the reason why we picked Axis as our side is because of this particular character Me. here, who is... Lieutenant Olli Heikinen, Lieutenant Olli Heikinen, who is Finnish, and I'm Finnish, so yeah, of course we're gonna play with the Finnish guy, if we can play with the Finnish guy, then I can actually even talk about the things he says and how they are incorrect, and why I actually like the fact that they are incorrect, because it, you know, I like the fact that they at least try to give uh, some actual proper 
language to the people from wherever they are, even though the pronunciation of everything is horrible in this game. But yeah, so we're gonna pick five guys here. Uh, you can have a six-man team with your own character included. And we're gonna pick one of every class just so that uh, you can see more of the game. Like normally when I play this game nowadays, I, I kind of never go with a six-man team. I usually go with like a smaller team and uh, maybe like just just soldiers, just scouts, stuff like that. One grenadier, one scout, one uh, uh, sniper, stuff like that. But yeah, so uh, here we also have several buttons. Uh, oh, this is just pick him. Uh, this is this thing we're looking at. The here we would see if they had m any medals. Uh, this is their stats screen, this is their inventory, and this is... I'm actually not sure what this screen is. This place to select their characters and builders. Oh yeah, if, if they had leveled and they had skills, that would be shown here. Yeah. So, we are going to pick... Hmm... Well, we're gonna pick... Whatever you want. Ahmed, because he's one of my favorite characters, and also he's got strength 10. That's pretty important for a soldier. Uh, because burst comes from strength, and soldiers usually want to use big machine guns, and yeah, they want to want to use strength for that. Also, they usually kind of want to throw at least a couple of grenades, and strength affects that. Uh, we're gonna pick ourselves a scout. We are going to hey, take okay. Toki here, the Japanese uh, scout, because uh, he's got dexterity ten. Then we are going to pick. Okay, Me. you get intelligence. I'm, tr I'm just trying to make p p put them in intelligence order. I probably should have checked their intelligence before I started recording, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just can't do yeah. anything. So we're going to take this guy, Me. and we're going to take this guy, and we're going to take her. Okay, so, yeah, let's take Eagle here. Eagle is uh, Slovakian. We're going to take her. Me. We're going to take Oli. Oh, yeah, well, Ahmad yeah, was want. from Iran. Yeah. And then we're going to take Gary here, who is from Hungary. And one of the things I like about this game also is the fact that they actually have female characters here. Because sometimes you see people being like, Oh, well there weren't any female soldiers in World War II. Yes, there were. A lot of countries have female battalions or, I don't know, is battalion maybe the correct word? Probably not, but they had like female companies or groups of female soldiers. A lot of countries did that actually. So, these are the people we are going to pick, so let's have a look at our team here. So, yay, this is our team. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do here, but I'm going to edit that out, is I'm going to actually take everyone who is in here, and I'm going to go and empty their inventory into... Well, you know what, let's just go... Let's just go to our actual uh, inventory screen. Uh, it doesn't matter which character we have uh, picked here at this point. Ah, uh, there is hall 2, uh, let's uh, look at the healing bay as well, because this is where we come to heal. Achtung, Achtung! Oberst Schubert wishes to mention that our superior medical facilities are located next to the hall 2 of the main building. Obtaining the attention of our esteemed medical staff is as simple as choosing a medication from the cupboard. That is all for now. Have a good war. Yeah, we're gonna have a good war. Uh, so yeah. Here we just come and we click on any of these beds and that would just actually... Yeah, on any. He just couldn't move to this one, I think, because someone else was blocking him. Yeah, path not found. Probably because the Toki here is blocking him. Well, let's get out of the medical bay and then we'll head for the... Uh... What is this called? Well, they're probably going to tell us now. Oktung, all new personnel. The armory is located next to the hall too. First door on the left. It is our pleasure to serve you. Ja, Oberst. Commander Oberst Ernst Schubert wishes to advise the squadron leader of Abwehr Section 2. They are free to take anything from the weapon vault at any time. Have a good war. Yep, yep, yep. So, the armory. Here, we just click on this big thing over here, and we can see what kind of things we have here to offer. And in the beginning, it's very little. Like, there's very little stuff here, and as you can see, there's like only three grenades here, which is the main reason why I'm going to empty out everyone who was in uh, the uh, personnel room, because a lot of them have grenades. Like, Ahmad here has a couple of grenades to start with. A lot of them have a couple of grenades to start with. 
So we want more grenades for our grenadier to throw and our soldier to throw and probably for our... Oh, we have a lot of grenades. Oh yeah, because I picked up a lot of grenades at the beginning there. Also, a thing about this game that I want to uh, show right now because... The few times I've seen someone talk about this game online, it's usually about... Well, there being a problem with this game. Like, I've seen people complain that they can't get enough ammunition and that makes the game bad. Well, here is a button that says Arrange. Now, if I put a weapon that there... You can, uh, okay, first of all, you can see if I hop, uh, click on this weapon, it shows me which ammo goes into this weapon. And there is no ammo for this weapon here for the Sour uh, 38X. But if I put that over here and then I press uh, this button to rearrange this uh, window, suddenly it creates ammo for this. So we, ammo is actually endless for any weapon that is from your side. So any Axis weapon we have unlimited ammo, but if we pick up some allied weapons, we will not have unlimited ammo from them. For them we'd actually have to scavenge ammo. But yeah, so I am going to empty out everyone's inventory and then, you know, give us a smart inventory. So uh, I'm going to edit that stuff out. Okay, so I've done uh, the inventory switching thing, so let's uh, look at what we're gonna have with our people here. So, Carp uh, as an engineer is gonna have some engineering gear, some uh, dynamite, some mines, a couple of mines. Everyone's gonna have a hemostatic powder to stop bleeding if they start bleeding, and a little bit of adhesive surgical plaster so that if they get hurt, they can heal themselves. Did I just throw it down? I think I just threw it out. Yeah, I threw it out from my inventory. So let's take that back. So that's what everyone gets. And uh, she's got uh, MP28, the Bergman here. Bergman? Be Bergman? Bergman? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how that is pronounced. Uh, which is a submachine gun that also has a snapshot possibility. Not all submachine guns have that. Uh, we're going to take the uh, Sour 38X as a sidearm. Ahmad here gets uh, a submachine gun, MP40 slash 2, which is... Uh, this is a pretty unique gun. I think it's also just a starting weapon for someone that has a double-sized clip. And Ahmad also starts with a machete, so we're gonna let him have his machete. Let's give we also give him a couple of grenades. Toki as our scout, uh, we're gonna give him the silenced and the gaunt. Uh, he's gonna have an SSA dagger, a couple of small grenades, and some shurikens that he starts with, and some throwing knives. Eagle, our sniper, is going to have a sniper rifle. That is the rifle 3340 scoped. The only sniper rifle available to us at this point, and she's gonna have the Sour 38X as a sidearm, and you know the basic starting things here for healing. Only as our grenadier is gonna have a lot of grenades. He has uh, the MP41 submachine gun and uh, the Mauser K95-1912 pistol, and also a couple of knives. The reason we have knives, throwing knives uh, for Toki and Oli is that they are silent, so they can hide and throw those, and they will not be you know seen at that point. Uh, we have Gary here, who is our medic. Uh, he's got a couple of uh, hemostatic forceps to heal critical hits if we get criticals. He's got a lot of hemostatic powder, a lot of uh, the gauze, well, surgical plaster, and he's also got acid to phenytidine analgesic tablets, so analgesic tablets that can remove critical things that we have. Because this, this game has critical things, so we can have like, uh, we can be shot. We lose a little bit of health, and if it was a crit, we can have, like, uh, uh, minus to our action points, or, you know, we can come blind if we're shot in the eyes, or we can come deaf if we're shot in the ears, and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the, the things we're gonna have with us when we are going to leave, which we are going to do now. So we are going to leave our base and go do our first mission. Uh, yeah, so there's a global map here, and if there is an area that has missions, uh, it's gonna be available. Uh, this is the only place available for us right now, but there are a lot of places here all over uh, Europe that we can uh, go to. So we'll start with Hanover, and this is the region map. So the regions can have several missions. Here we're gonna have General Bauer's headquarters, and there are also random encounters here on the map occasionally that just went away. 
But hey, I think uh, we're going to start General Barrow's headquarters mission in the next episode. This first episode was basically just going through the tutorial and making everything ready. But yeah, since this is the first episode of a series, I would really like if you could uh, click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I um, will not ask in other episodes, but since it's the first one, I'd like to ask it here. But yeah, I think we're gonna put a cut in here and we're gonna continue with the actual first mission in the next episode. I'm Gokarp, and this has been Silent Storm. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.